HMD Global says that the Nokia X35 g gives you the best field view experience till day. Now, I made a couple of videos to test these claims and you be the judge how the Nokia X35 g compares. But one thing for sure is that the camera 2.0 on the X35 g is definitely a much needed improvement compared to its predecessors. So the other request that I've got is to compare the Nokia X35 g to other flagship grade devices and that's exactly what I did today and we're going to look into the comparison between the Nokia X35 g and the Vivo X70 Pro Plus. Now what's interesting here is that the X35 g lacks size branding compared to the Vivo X70 Pro Plus and in the Vivo X70 Pro Plus you can see the depth of integration between Vivo and Zeiss especially in the final output of the image. So I'm going to share with you some of the images taken between both these devices and you be the judge. So I hope that you watched the uh, image comparison and this is what I have to say. Now the Nokia X35 g is probably more in line with the 7 series when it comes to the conventional naming of the previous Nokia devices. So that means that we are bound to get a more powerful setup, especially something in the lines of 8 series and even the 9 series. Now what is interesting here is that the Nokia X35 g is a mid-range device. It costs half than the price of Vivo X70 Pro Plus. There are a couple of things that I like about the Vivo X70 Pro Plus and there's something or a couple of things that 
Nokia X35 G can do better. Now, if you were to see in all the image comparison, now one thing to be uh, noted is that the X35 G has a more vibrant output, and this is the norm when you take the photo with the standard uh, image using the primary sensor you tend to get a more vibrant image which is probably something that a lot of people would like but people in the lines of pure view devices would prefer for a more natural output which is where the vivo x70 pro plus shines but if you were to see the output of vivo x70 pro plus it tends to have slightly washed out images especially if it's in a bright situation something that the nokia x35g does better now, the other thing that I note is that the HDR effect of the Nokia X35G can definitely be improved. Of course, you could manually adjust the exposure when you take the image, but by default, Vivo X70 Pro Plus has a much better dynamic range. When it comes to details of it, this is where the Vivo X70 Pro Plus shines compared to the previous Nokia devices where a lot of sharpening is involved and a lot of noise is introduced once you zoom into pixel level. The Vivo X70 Pro Plus gives you a much sharper image which lacks the noise that you would actually expect to see. This is what is interesting with the output of Vivo X70 Pro Plus. Whereas on the Nokia X35 G, the images tends to be natural, it doesn't have this aggressive sharpening so you don't see much of this noise either. But if you were to compare the amount of detail between the Vivo and the X30, the Vivo has an upper hand here. And when it comes to the low light performance, uh, this is what is more interesting because in my previous observation of the Nokia X35 G compared to other uh, Nokia devices, the X35 G's primary sensor is the brightest till date and the Vivo X70 Pro Plus is even brighter than the X30 sensor and naturally it allows in more light in so you've got a brighter output but this is something that the software of the X30 can improve on. When it comes to the ultra wide output, Amazingly, the center of the ultra wide image is actually sharper on the X35G, but it gets blurred on the peripheries of the image. So, uh, I do hope that the fusion technology between the ultra wide and the primary sensor can be actually improved so that you've got a more uniform uh, detail of the image. Compare that to the X70 Pro Plus, uh, while it's not as sharp as the one on the uh, X30, the images looks pleasant throughout either the center or the periphery the details are pretty much well distributed compared to the x30 so i hope you do enjoy this brief comparison between the x70 pro plus and the nokia x30 do note that the x30 costs at least half of what the vivo x70 does and to answer or to reaffirm the statement that the x30 gives you the best peer view experience yes it does give you the best peer view experience but there are a lot of rooms to be improved here so with that said, I hope to see you in my next video. Do take care. See you again.